was thinking, James, if you were given the choice of taking one of these away and keeping it, which would it be? One of the ones I can still see. <laughs> well, I can see. Well, that's the way there's no smoking policy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I, I can just see down here, actually, the Lamborghini guy, although not just any old Lamborghini guy, but this is the Balboni, and it's addition. Uh, it's rear-wheel drive, ladies and gentlemen, not the normal four-wheel drive, and it has, and you only pay something like an extra £35,000 for this, an asymmetric stripe that not only goes over the bonnet and the roof, but across the seats and the dashboard. It's, uh, it's just a fantastic car. It's named after Valentino Balboni, who's been Lamborghini's chief best driver for 40 years. Mm -hmm. He's rolled more Lamborghinis than, than, the, than they've ever made. Yeah. He's a brilliant guy, he's a brilliant car, so you have that. No, because oh. I've just seen the F40 and I think I'll have that. Uh, I mean, it, for years, that was the best supercar. I mean, really, until very recently, it was. V8 twin turbo go kart is yeah. what it actually is. Fantastic. So, the F40 then? F40. Hammond? Uh, it's, it's, it's just so difficult. Um, you've got to love and respect the F40, and I'm drawn immediately to that, yes. But uh, this is the V12 aspect. Oh, no. <sighs> Then down there, there is a Bugatti on the F Roadster, which is the most bonkers supercar you can possibly get. I don't know that. You don't know the See, I'm just looking along this line and I'm thinking, hang on a minute, down at the far end there's a Bugatti Veyron. I mean, spoken about it. But what is it? That, the thing is, I respect it hugely as a piece of engineering. It is just fabulous. I love the way that they actually made it, despite the difficulties of making a car that powerful and that fast. But it, I don't yearn to open one. That's the funny thing. So I'm looking at a lot. Zonda's two bonkers, the Datsun, not it's our class here. This Audi V10, I described in the uh, forthcoming series of Top Gear, is possibly the best driver's car ever. But it's just not, you know, in this company. Um, and not the end zone because three standing stars using launch control has to go back to the factory for a new clutch, and that's 6,000 quid. Which, if you're trying to run out of budget, is a bad thing. I know, so I'm really left, really, with the choice of the Lamborghini or the Aston Martin. <laughs> It's what? I can sort that out for you, I think. What? Did you not recently become a farmer? Yes, I am now a farmer. Right, there you go. So if you subsidies, you can buy the lot. <laughs> it's a good point, actually. There's a part of the system uh, in this country. Uh, Gordon Brown, who we now know to be a many army British genius. <laughs> He's got this fantastic system whereby he just takes ordinary people who just do supermarket adverts, takes half their money away, and then gives it to me as a farmer for absolutely no reason at all. There we are. Yeah. Uh, I just look at your plate, say, because as far as I know, Bugatti had no plans to make a veil that runs on red diesel. No. So it isn't the big Aston, it's the, it's the Aston, I have the Aston, the V12 Aston, because it's, the, the V8 is fantastic, but that is such a killer car, it's one of those ones where you don't pay attention, it will buy your head off. Brilliant. Let's the make them go away, because I'm honestly not fit for mine again. It's not a bad choice to have to make, is it? I know the Lamborghini. But the GTRs are astonishing. I know, but I'll take them on the Lamborghini. No, here comes the Zonda. It's just insane, I'm going to love that. The back end of that Aston. And the Veyron thing, oh, they do what it is, what it represents, yes. They are, as I said, about the best collection of cars you'll ever see in yeah. one room at the same time. The only thing we've agreed on, though, rather ridiculously, is not the Enzo. Yeah. So there you go, there's a piece of consumer advice to you, ladies and gentlemen. You're face a room full of exotic and expensive supercars. Don't have the Enzo. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. <laughs>
one more to fight, and he's the reigning champion. He's the fastest, he's the meanest, it's Longbow. Mr. Stig, you're ours, and I'm here.